What's up, ladies? Uh, Sean Corpolades, as you know. Kelly set me the task of filming a short circuit that the girls that could not make it into the studio this week for Saturday's hit class can do on your own. Now, the circuit that we're putting together is going to require you going to a gym. It's gonna make you use that LA Fitness membership that you get unless you have the equipment at your home. You're gonna need, essentially, a set of dumbbells and or kettlebells. And if you have it, a straight bar, an Olympic bar that you can use. Now, if you don't have those items, we are gonna show you ways in which you can use just one set of dumbbells for the entire circuit. The circuit is basically a stair step. You're gonna end up doing five exercises, five, 10, 15, 20, 25 reps of each of the five exercises. But the kicker is you've gotta do it 10 times. Not three, not four, not five, 10 times through. Right, it should take you somewhere in the region of about 40 minutes, which when I come out there on a Thursday night, you guys are already warm. So our workouts usually last around 45 to 50 minutes in length. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. I've got my beautiful assistant, Erin, to demonstrate for us. And I will give you uh, kind of hints, tips, pointers as she does the exercises for us. All right, exercise one, five reps is a deadlift. Now, if you've got a bar, we're using the cardio pump bars at the studio. Erin's lifting what should be about 60% give or take of your body weight. So Erin's got about 80, 85 pounds loaded up on that bar. And we're looking for five reps of a true deadlift, not a straight leg deadlift. So, just like so. One, two, Notice how Erin's getting her weight back into her hips and her heels, and then as she stands tall, she pulls her shoulders back and she sticks her chest out. You wanna kind of be proud of your work at the end of that motion, but make sure you are shifting the weight backwards. If you do not have a straight bar, an Olympic bar, you can use dumbbells, but if you're using dumbbells, I want a straight leg deadlift. So you keep a soft bend at the knees, and why I'm filming it from the side is you need to see Erin's hips. They don't stay over her ankles. She kicks those hips all the way back. So again, if you don't have the Olympic bar, the straight bar, that's what we're looking for there. Next exercise, which is 10 reps, is called Man Makers, and Erin's gonna demonstrate those for us. It's basically a burpee with a row and overhead press. So row, row, hop in, punch them overhead. That's one. Down, push up, row, row, hop in, punch them overhead. That's two, 10 reps. And Erin's gonna finish one full round for us. So she's gonna do all <laughs> 10. This will be the most time consuming of all of the exercises that you do, but there really isn't a uh, muscle in the body that is uh, not getting absolutely abused during Man Makers. Again, good push-up form is key. You wanna make sure that you're moving your entire body, not just the upper body. You wanna make sure you keep that pelvis tucked under. And when you stand up and pop those weights overhead, don't let your back arch. Keep that pelvis tucked firmly underneath you. It's gonna be tempting to really let that back pop as you punch those weights up and overhead. How you doing, E? I'm only on seven. <laughs> <laughs> These are horrible. <laughs> It's a crowd pleaser in the gym, as you can tell, man makers. Basically what I'm having you guys go through today is a little bit of what one of our Apex circuits would be like. Usually we do something like this, and then we accompany it with the bursts of high intensity cardio, whether it be rowing machine, ladders, or traditional hit. But a little, little glimpse of what an Apex class is, or at least about a third of one. So next up after those man makers, Erin is going to go to goblet squats. And she's got a big old 35 pound dumbbell hanging out for those. You can keep the weights you were using for man makers and just hold two weights as opposed to one. It's just easier to hold a slightly heavier weight if you're at the gym and you have multiple options available to you. So she's going to grab that dumbbell, basically clasp it, and I'll film her from the front so it looks like you're holding a big old wine glass or a goblet. And from there, you're gonna drop down into a squat, but the butt needs to come at least to the knees, if not lower. A good indicator is basically if you're holding that weight kind of underneath your chin, your elbows should touch your thighs. So she has 15 goblet squats. So it was five deadlifts, 10 man makers, 15 goblet squats. Okay. 
Again, she's tucking those hips and contracting the core when she stands up. It's not just about the legs, this is a total body exercise. Your core is working against the weight held in front of you from pulling you forwards. Next up is a favorite in here, kettlebell or dumbbell skiers. Kind of a kettlebell, if you uh, do kettlebell swings, very, very similar to those, but it's essentially working both arms. So it's a much, much more challenging exercise in terms of the cardiovascular output. But the secret is, Erin's not swinging her arms. When you do this exercise, yes, your shoulders and arms swing, but the swing is driven by the hips. You see how she squeezes her butt and really drives her hips and contracts her abs at the end? That's what's swinging her arms. All right, we're looking for 20 of these. So, so far you've done five deadlifts, you've done 10 man makers, you've done 15 goblet squats, and now you've got 20 kettlebell, or in this case, dumbbell skiers. Last but not least, 25 squat jumps. Down, explode up. Down, explode up. Good. Notice how Erin's taken zero breaks between the exercises, ladies. Zero. You earn a two minute rest at the end of each round if you choose to take it. I'll be honest, in studio when we do this, we just go from one round right into the next. We try and make it a really, really challenging cardiovascular workout. But if you need to take two minutes in between each round, you can, but remember, you're doing 10 rounds, so that's gonna tag on about 20 minutes to your workout. All right, that's one round down. I don't know if you can see it up here on the mirror, but there it is, five deadlifts, 10 man makers, 15 goblet squats, 20 kettlebell or dumbbell skiers, 25 squat jumps 10 times through. 10 times. All right, go get it.